Hello friends! Epic published their schedule of events and this time they plan to return to a fully in-person format. You still have time to plan your visit and join the industry leaders in Houston in March. And now it's time to see what is new in power semiconductors industry. Mitsubishi Electric announced the coming launch of a half-bridge drive high-voltage integrated circuit equipped with a built-in bootstrap diet function that can help reduce the number of parts required in inverter systems. The new HVIC, which is designed for circuits that drive power semiconductors and low-capacity inverter systems, will also help to lower the power consumption of electric bikes and other electrical products. HVICs that drive power semiconductors and inverter systems are in increasing demand for use in motor control systems that help to save energy and improve the performance of consumer products and industrial equipment. Wish Anti Technology introduced two new N channel trench fed MOSFETs that increase power density, efficiency, and board level reliability in telecom and industrial applications. To achieve these design goals, the new MOSFETs combine ultra-low on resistance with high temperature operation with high continuous drain current handling. Their space-saving package promotes board level reliability with its bond wireless construction and Galvin leads for mechanical stress relief. For increased power density, the new MOSFETs deliver continuous drain current of up to 373 amps in a package that is 60% smaller and 57% thinner than the D2 pack. ST Microelectronics' latest high side switches emit two programmable current limit values for smart driving of capacitive loads that draw high startup current. The new dual channel switches have an input voltage range up to 60 V and can withstand up to 65 on the input pin, ensuring flexibility and robust performance in industrial applications. The new integrated power MOSFET has low RDSO, resulting in high energy efficiency and low thermal dissipation. In addition, MOSFET single pulse avalanche energy greater than 1 joule at 2 amps boosts reliability for handling inductive loads. There is also an active clamp for fast demagnetization. Semiconductors are the building block of all electronic products. They play a central role in modern economies and daily lives. They underpin the digital transformation and are essential to all industries, such as the car industry, communications, data processing, space, defense, smart devices and gaming, to name a few. The recent global chip shortage has disrupted supply chains, caused product shortages ranging from cost to medical devices and, in some cases, even forced factories to close. The European Chips Act, adopted by the Commission, seeks to strengthen the semiconductor ecosystem. It is composed of communication, which spells out the European strategy and rationale behind the Chips Act, a proposal for regulation and a recommendation to member states. The European Chips Act will reinforce the semiconductor ecosystem in the European Union, ensure the resilience of supply chains and reduce external dependencies. It is a key step for the European Union's technological sovereignty and it will ensure Europe meets its digital decade target of doubling its global market share in semiconductors to 20%. As detailed in its November announcements, Toshiba decided to organize into three independent companies by conducting a spin-off of Toshiba's two core businesses into two new publicly listed companies. Since then, Toshiba has been in talk with a variety of stakeholders, including its shareholders and relevant authorities. Since this is the first large-scale spin-off transaction in Japan, after the announcement, Toshiba consulted with the related parties to confirm the details, and as a result, it turned out there were obstacles which were not initially expected. Therefore, in order to increase the certainty of realization, Toshiba has refined the transaction scheme while maintaining the fundamental policy of operating the two core business domains independently. Consequently, Toshiba has determined that it will reorganize into two independent companies by conducting a spin-off of Toshiba's core business domain, device and storage business, into a new publicly listed company to achieve the original goals of the business separation. Toshiba device and storage business plans to focus on expanding their semiconductor business mainly in automotive and industrial fields, double R&D for power semiconductors to strengthen technological superiority and accelerate product development, and strengthen relations with major customers. Global Wafers announced investment plans after its voluntary all-cash tender offer for the outstanding ordinary shares of Siltronic failed to reach all completion conditions by the final deadline of January 31, 2022. The proceeds originally intended for the acquisition are now earmarked for capital and operating expenses. Global wafers foresees total capital expenditures of 3.6 billion US dollars from 2022 to 2024, including substantial greenfield investments. 
Global Wafers now considers a number of brown and green fuel capacity expansion plants, including 300mm wafer and vitexial wafer, 200mm and 300mm silicon on insulator wafers, 200mm float zone wafers, silicon carboid wafers, gallium nitride and silicon wafers, and other large size next generation products. The expansion plan includes investments across Asia, Europe, and the United States. Xperia celebrates five years since entering the semiconductor industry as an independent entity. During this time, the Xperia brand, while still relatively young, has become firmly established in the marketplace by building on the foundations of a strong track record in semiconductor manufacturing over several decades. Right from the start back in 2017, Xperia combined passion with professionalism and set about growing with its customers by providing them with the innovative products that they need. It now celebrates five years of forward-thinking, growth, and market-leading products. During this time, Xperia has also developed industry-leading capacity that consistently meets the highest automotive standards, while also providing the widest range of discrete components, power, and logic ICs. That's it for now. Thanks everyone for watching. As usual, more market news coming next week. Meanwhile, go to my blog for more information or join me in social media. Keep in touch.